Surrounded by 16 peaks, the Cirque de Gaverny is a must-see for lovers of hiking. Listed as a World Heritage Site, it's one of the natural wonders of the Pyrenees. Philippe Cordier loves these mountains and spends all his time here. It's a real blessing to live here every day. I have an amazing office, just look around us. There's peace and quiet. It's simply wonderful to be surrounded by nature like this every day. Philippe is the manager of La Grange de Hall, one of the region's hostels. In the kitchen, he's busy preparing the evening meal. The soup's ready. I think we can dish up. Be careful, let him through. Here we go. Let's eat. In the dining area, we meet some of the regulars. This hikers club is sitting down to enjoy the supper, which Philippe has cooked. It's a pleasure to sit down and share this meal with them. They come back regularly. This is the second time I've joined them, and tonight I wanted to share this with them again. And when you have a welcoming guy like Philippe, there are never any problems. We have fun, we enjoy it, and we're energized. The table banging and the singing goes on late into the night. But this merrymaking never disturbs Philippe's neighbors. Hey, Pascal. Hello, Philippe. How's it going? Are you well? A stone's throw from the hostel stands this traditional sheep pen. It's where Pascal's flock takes refuge during the winter months. This is my next-door neighbour. In the morning, in the evening, all day. I'm on my own, in Ol. Since Pascal took over the family farm, nothing much has changed. Whether it's feeding or mucking out, it's all done the old-fashioned way. But after the summer, it's all mechanised. And the building? Oh, it stayed very rustic. The day has barely broken, but Philippe's already hard at work. Look, this is how sunny it'll be. He's joined by one of the hikers, Seki. They're working out today's route. It might be a bit icy, no? Yeah, you have to be careful. There are viewpoints up there too. Yes. I don't go to places where there are avalanches, and that's where the hostel manager comes in. He can advise us about where we should avoid. I don't know this region as well as he does. The group sets off for five hours of hiking. Have a good day, everyone. Thanks, bye. And what better way to set the pace than a little sing-song? A two-day hike from Gavarni, a little village hides in the hollow of the mountain. The sound of the church bell heralds the start of a rather unusual mass. Each week, Father Paul takes out his guitar to accompany some local singers called Les Pastous, who perform Pyrenean songs. Okay. Created back in 1979, the group has about 15 members, and they're instantly recognizable by their black berets. My guitar never misses a mass. The service always ends with songs. I think that young people love to sing, and in the times we're living in, I think music is one of the things that can be a real comfort. As night falls, we head to Aix-les-Thermes, where the Pastou have come to perform. The choir has made it its mission to get the entire valley singing under the leadership of Father Paul. This evening, he's proudly donned his Pastou outfit. When I say mass, I wear this underneath. The Pastu outfit is black trousers with a wool waistcoat, or even one made out of sheepskin when it's very cold. Then there's the Pastu medallion, 
and the berry. Father Paul is a real character. He gets all the pastu singing along. Hey, Pierre Paul, I hear you're the only parish priest in the valley. Yes. It's true. I'm a rare thing. A rare and precious thing. Whether they're priests, shepherds or hikers, they're all protectors of the Pyrenees.